Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this one is a little bit different because it's a stacked envelope journal cover journal <laughs> uh, anyway there's a lady called Pamela who messaged me yesterday and she sent me a video and she said oh I would like to see your take on that um, and it was a video um, from uh, Robin Dudley House I think that's I hope I'm not destroying her surname so she had done um, a two-part video on stacked envelope file folder I didn't use a file folder but she got the idea from Dawn, who is the book vandal shop. So I've, I watched Dawn's as well. I watched um, Robin's and I've watched Dawn's and I've just done my own thing. But it's kind of the same, the same concept. But, you know, like everything, you do your own little twist on it. So anyway, it's a stacked envelope on the cover. There is a journal and the journal is just filled with all sorts of different things. And um, but it's not got pockets or anything. It's kind of blank. It's it, I've just like paper clipped things into it because what's in the front of this took me forever to do. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just did. So anyway, this is roughly like a traveler's notebook size. It measures eight by four and a half. There is one signature inside here with 60 pages. And like I said, this thing's just paper clipped in there, but I'll, I'll, talk to, I'll talk about that when I get to it. This will be listed on my shop if you're interested. So that is the back <clears throat> and that is the front. And like I said, it's stacked envelopes. So let's start flipping and flapping. Right, uh, before I go on, a lot of people have asked me about the file folders that I've been doing over the last couple of days. I do have a video that's very similar to that on my Let's Make playlist. Um, I think it might be a one or two parter, so you can go over there. I think it's file folder, trifold, I think it is. But I think it's more the concept of all the flippy flappy envelopes that you, you're wanting to see. Um, so you'll kind of see that in this as well. But you will see how I added the envelope, which you can once you know how to add one envelope you can add as many as you like throughout a journal or throughout the cover or even in a um you know on a, a journal page so you can do that so anyway this is the um <clears throat> beautiful birds by artie mace and then this here is uh, i've got some cheesecloth there and this is from my porch prints and it's the um shabby dictionary um definitions so that flips out we've got a envelope there and an envelope there and an envelope there all right so that's that this little envelope here we've got a pocket and i've just i just used some scrap pieces to decorate that and then here is um one of these tags which i just chopped that piece off to cover this because like i said i was trying to use up my scraps as well so this had a flower or something on it so i just cut that off and i put that on top of there so that we got the birds and then we've got another tag there <clears throat> and that flips out and we've got I use the journal card to make a little pocket and then I um, cut down a tag to make it fit inside there the envelope is um, lined with um, digital music paper and then we have a postcard in there and that goes in there like that um, another envelope here I just used this rose card from Artie Mays. This is a little um, fussy cut piece from um, My Porch Prints. She's got some uh, different themes of um, fussy cut Im images that you can purchase. So these must have been the floral ones or it's the floral and the birds. I'm not 100% sure. And then again, this is from My Porch Prints and it says family. That's decorated with some printable ledger paper. I've just put a scrap piece here. This actual page was actually inspired by Robin because she had done one, but she'd used a bird. Um, and I wasn't actually quite sure what theme I was going to go with this, um, but it turned out birds. So there you go. We've got another um, postcard, which just goes in there. And we have that tag that goes in there. And that flips out. We've got two tickets as a little tuck. We've got some vintage music paper. Well, it's not actually vintage, it's um, printable. We've got another one of these um, from Artie Mays. And the tickets are from Artie Mays. And then inside there, we just have another postcard. And again, that has been lined with some printable ledger. I think that was the old design shop. This envelope, which is a window envelope, um, is stuck down, which hides all the flaps 
of the envelopes that you've glued onto the sides and then this hides it just done some decoupage we've got this flower here a little there's a little piece i had left over a napkin and the butterfly and inside there we just have a large tag um which has got some i tried to do some <clears throat> uh coffee dyeing with some lace to see what it come out like and it didn't really work so i'm using it up anyway not waste not want not so all right i'll leave that there because it's a bit tricky to get it back in um <clears throat> Not normally, it's just because I've got, there's something there which stops me trying to get that in. So here we've got another envelope and there we have the um, the tickets again the, from the birds. Another tag and then here we have another postcard. This is some vintage music paper and this was a just a little piece of um, napkin that I just decoupaged on there. And it's got a little bit of a swirl and it has actually got some uh, more writing, like cursive writing. So it kind of breaks it up with the music paper and then inside there we just have a tag or a journal card it's got a butterfly on there and that again that's been lined with some music paper that you can't really see now um so that's that that's the flippy flappy bits <laughs> it is actually quite fun doing this it's quite therapeutic um but it did take me a long time like all day literally all day i'm just going to set that up and put that in so that it's done and behind this as well there is um, some vintage book page why is it when you're on camera nothing wants to work for you <laughs> typical I was watching someone last night I watched quite a lot of YouTube last night and there was a few people that were having the same issues as soon as you turn the camera on everything goes like the wrong you know everything goes wrong so that's the cover that's that's where most of the decoration is and then inside it's just plain i've just um used some of the papers from the beautiful birds kit and it, like i said i've just um uh, paper clipped some things in i have actually done some um i've printed or photocopied sorry scanned and photocopied some original ephemera that i have and i've added that uh, so that's not original but it's um it's scanned and printed because it is obviously one of a kind i guess so i don't want to don't want to don't want to share it really <laughs> this again is um scanned and printed and this is from the Bazaar Exchange and Mart, uh, which is Link House, that's uh, in London, so it's East London, East Central London. When, what's the date on that? 16th of October 1930. This is from the um, the old design shop. We've got some trim here, some lined paper. So you could do a lot of decorating to this, obviously. Again, another scanned piece. And what's the date on that? The 18th of the 2nd, so that's the 18th of February, 1949. And this again is another one. I don't know what to date, it might be on the other side. It's coffee dyed paper, more from the birdies. Uh, here we just got some, oh, my hands are just not working. Some more uh, ephemera just from the kit. From the beautiful birds kit. This would just be a great writing journal. Some more lace trim. Oh, and something else. I do apologise about all the ads on my videos. I had no idea that there was like all the ads on there. And now uh, it is a pet hate of mine as well. You know, you're looking forward to watching the video and every minute or something there's an advert and it drives you crazy so i had to i had to spend a lot of time today going through quite a few of my videos over the last two weeks to to sort all that out um so obviously youtube has done something that kind of is over overriding what it used to be um so i do apologize for that this is 1963 and it's a hotel I take it that Spain, I think, is Espelanda. I don't know. Let me see the other side. 
Scarborough. No, it's not. It's actually Scarborough in the UK. I just thought that sounded a little bit um, Spanish, but clearly not. I should have known that all the writing's in English, silly me. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the 2nd of uh, the 8th, which is the 8th month to us, is um, August. Is that right? Yep, August. We're in August now. Yep, 63. Another scanned, or well, the other side of that scanned piece. Another flip. That's from the kits. I do love that page. It's so pretty. The ledger with the um, the florals down the side. Some more trim. That was white. I got that the other day. I actually thought I'd ordered cream, but I just coffee dyed it and then hung it out on the line and it dried really quickly. So it looks. It does actually look vintage now. It doesn't just look cream or well, it was white, I should say. So, <clears throat> That's the other side of the scanned piece. And then here we have just a tag from the kit and a vintage letter. Um, I'm planning, well, I have got, I have actually got some orders to do over the weekend and they are both file folders. Um, but what I'm gonna do um, is oh and that's another thing when I because I had to suss out how to put the closure on um, to actually hold the front down as well because I thought initially I'd put um, I thought of putting it here and there and then I thought well that's just gonna like fall open and I wanted that so the closure goes across there like that on the back so that it holds at the front <clears throat> So yeah, I really do like that. It's um, I like all that flippy flappy thing. That's my new thing at the moment, the flippy flappy envelopes. Um, yeah, so what I might do is just do a basic uh, run through of how to attach your envelopes onto a cover or a page. It can even be a page um, so that you know what to do. Um, because it, th for me, this is quite complicated to to do and decorate all at the same time. Because I really did have to, I did have to think about this um, before I kind of put it all together. And to be honest, I was actually gonna, um, I was gonna do more on there, but because it got quite bulky in the front, I thought, oh, I'm glad I didn't put all that on there because it would have been too bulky, I think. Um, so yeah, I did have to really think about that. It's not. You know, um, but I can show you the basics on how to do that, and I will try and do that tomorrow before I start my other my other things that I have to do. So, like I said, this will be listed on my shop if you're interested. If you have any questions about this, please ask. And again, I am sorry about all the um, um, the adverts. Oh, and another thing, when I looked, um, I think it was last night. I'm just going to have another quick peek now. Um, I was something like 20 away from 20,000 subscribers and I have been keeping an eye on it because when I hit the 20,000 I'm going to do a giveaway um, which will obviously be a journal of some sort. Um, let me have a look. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway. Now, I don't know whether to... Um, Oh, I've actually, I'm actually at 20,000 now. So yes, thank you. Thank you to everyone. Um, so obviously I had 20 new subscribers since last night. So thank you very much. The giveaway, um, like I said, it will be a journal. What I will do is I will make the journal and show you the journal. And then I will probably leave it like, I don't know, a few days or something like that to, to draw a winner. But I will be checking to make sure that you have you obviously you are of 18 and you are a subscriber and that you're a regular commenter as well because I do think it's I do get people that I do have regular co you know people that comment and I know a lot of you comment on um, Facebook because you watch it via Facebook so it would be nice if you could comment on the actual videos um, that way um, it's 
when it does come to giveaways and things like that you know you you notice more because i with all the different groups that um i run and i share I, I share things on it would be impossible to keep up with who comments on what group and when and what video and all that kind of stuff so anyway when that video comes out i will obviously i will explain more more on that but yay i've actually hit twenty thousand. so um Right, I'm going to go because I think I've talked enough now. So um, I will be back tomorrow probably. So I hope you will have a good evening and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.